Now, with all the news, travel and weather you're waking up to this Friday, it's Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. Now is the time for war. A stark warning from Israel's military chief as Israel gives 1.1 million Palestinians 24 hours to leave Gaza City and move south. Well, Israel is warning those living in the north of Gaza City to move to the south because of upcoming military operations. It's telling them to stay away from the fences. The United Nations, though, is not happy. It says shifting that many people in such a short period of time is likely to cause a humanitarian catastrophe. Plus, the UK's Prime Minister reaffirms his support for Israel after a call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu we will be joined by Defence Secretary Grant Chaps after eight to talk about the ongoing conflict. And also on the programme, the bedbugs bite back after Paris's infestation. Is the UK next? We're going to be joined by an exterminator who says they've been inundated with more calls than ever. Welcome to the first of the Tony Backbone chairs. I should be waking up every morning. Buzz, he's the original king of the airwaves and the first king of the jungle, but he almost lost his crown after battling sepsis and pneumonia for two months in hospital. Now, though, he's back on the throne and Tony Blackburn will join us to talk about returning to work and touring. And after the shock news that celebrity golden couple Will and Jada Pinkett Smith have been secretly separated since 2016 and only 36% of the population believe that marriage is for life. We're asking if marriage should be forever. The rain is here, the warm weather's moving away and the outlook turns colder. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up. Good morning, Britain. Friday, 13th of October, 2023, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Good morning. Good morning. I've just had a text from Annie, by the way, Mrs Shepherd, That's saying that worrying. she doesn't believe marriages should last forever. <laughs> <laughs> She's delighted. That's our key debate this morning. <laughs> well, if you, if you think that marriage can feel long, then she would absolutely be the longest suffering. She would uh, be, because yeah. you were a little... T were you teenage sweethearts? Not quite. 21. So it's been a very long time. My sister turned 50 yesterday. I can't quite believe my wow. sister who's just a year older than me. Uh, so I'm still not quite as old as you. Uh, I'll wait for that decade turn. I know. And Annie has uh, been a long-suffering uh, mainstay in my life. It's a bit. It's an interesting question, though, uh, mm. Charlotte Hawkins. Life. Uh, it, it, what's longer, marriage or life? I don't know. <laughs> marriage or life? You're, 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 <laughs> do you believe? Do you believe marriage is for life? Yeah. Or would you like to come?